one of my favorite things to learn about and what I find so interesting is space. I feel like the stars and the planets and even rockets like this one are so amazing and I love to learn as much as I can about them. I'm going to be doing some fun activities today. Do you want to do them with me? Yeah? Okay, the first activity I'm going to do is called Suit Up. We need to fill in the missing stickers to complete the spacesuit. First thing I notice is this spacesuit is missing the helmet. Every spacesuit must have a helmet. And this one, of course, has one. So there we go. Next, I think, hmm, I notice that the spacesuit has one glove, but we're missing one on the other side. So let's get the missing glove and put it on our spacesuit. Here we go. The glove is brown just to match the other side. Perfect. Now, the only other thing that I think we are missing is the space boot. Of course, there is one, but we're missing the other one. So let's add that as well. Here we go. Let's put it right on our spacesuit. There, that looks complete. What do you guys think? That looks really good, right? Time to go to space. It's nearly time to go. Countdown. We have to circle the rocket in each row that is different than the others. So let's start with our first row of orange rockets. There are five rockets. Let's count them. One, two, Three, four, five. Five orange rockets. Now, do you notice which one is different than the rest? I see that this one has pink lines at the top and the rest are yellow. Good job noticing that. Now, our next set of rockets is green and there's one, two, three, four rockets. Now, which one do you see that is different than the rest? Hmm. Look closely. How about the windows? Do they all look the same? That's right. This one has three and the others have two. So that means this rocket is the one that is different. There we go. Now, this set of rockets, there are three. Let's count them. One, two, three. Now, have a close look and let me know which one looks different than the rest. Let's have a close look at the stars. The first two have three stars that are yellow. This one has a star in the middle that's blue. That one is different. Now our last row of rockets, there are one, two, three, four, and five. Five rockets. Which one is different? Hmm. I have to look really closely and I noticed the three dots at the bottom are black on this rocket and the rest are pink. So that is the odd one out, meaning it's different. Now I feel like doing some coloring. What about you? Do you guys like doing coloring too? Okay, let's grab our markers and get coloring. I've got a bunch of different colors here. I've got, let's see which colors, yellow, pink, orange, purple, and blue. These are the colors I'm going to use to decorate these two rocket ships. Let's start with blue. Now orange. Next, yellow. And for the last part, purple. Now we're going to color the bigger rocket. I'm going to start with purple.
Now, pink. I'm going to do the end orange. Yellow for this part. And the last part yellow as well. These last two rockets look amazing. I love the colors. Now it's time to blast off. Here is our solar system. We have to fill in the missing planet stickers to complete the solar system. All of the planets revolve around the sun. Let's see which planets are missing. Here's the planet we live on. It's called Earth. Here's Neptune. And this is Uranus. Hmm, this is Mercury, but it's missing. I think I have a sticker over here that we can fill in. There it is. Let's put that in the Mercury spot. Now, the next planet over here, it's a really little one too. It's called Pluto. We need to fill in that sticker as well. It's a gray planet. There we go. Now, let's see. Saturn is a big planet with rings around it. Now, Venus is also missing, so let's fill in that sticker as well. I have it right here. Here we go. This planet is really big and red. Now, the next planet above is called Jupiter. Now, the only other sticker that we are missing is the sticker for the moon. We have the sun here. Now, we have to add the sticker for the moon. There we go. Now, our solar system is complete. Thanks for your help. So now, the next thing for us to do is explore. We are going to explore Mars. But first, we have to color the picture. We're going to color the space rocks yellow and green. Ready? Count to three. One, two, three! There we go. They are finished. Now, we have to find these items on the list. One rocket. Do you see the pink rocket anywhere? Look close. Oh, here it is up here in the sky. Now we have to find two space rocks, one that is yellow and one that is green. Do you see a yellow space rock? That's right, right here below the alien and the green one is right beside. Good job. Now we have to find three aliens. The aliens are all green. So look closely. Here's one alien. Here's another alien. That's two. And this one makes three. Excellent! Now to show that we finished all the items on our list, let's put a check mark beside each one. That tells me that we finished each item. Okay, now let's go on to the next activity, which is called Mix and Match. We have to color the space buggies to match their owners. There are four astronauts floating around in space. The first astronaut is pink, so we are going to color the space vehicle pink. Ready? There we go. It matches her perfectly. Now let's write the word pink. P, P, pink starts with the letter and this says pink. Now, our next astronaut is wearing a blue spacesuit. So let's color the space buggy blue. Here we go. Boop. And it's blue. Excellent. Now, let's write the word blue beside. Blue starts with the letter B. It makes the sound b, b, blue. Now, our next space buggy needs to be yellow because this astronaut's spacesuit is yellow. Let's get coloring. Yellow. There. Now, let's write the word yellow. Y. Yellow starts with a Y because Y makes the sound Y. And last, our green astronaut needs a green space buggy. So let's color this space buggy green. Excellent! That was our last space buggy. Do you know what green starts with? 
That's right, a G. G, G. G makes that sound. Our next activity is called rocket repair. Uh-oh, it's nearly time to go home. But we have to repair this broken rocket. It's missing parts. So let's get our stickers and fill in the missing parts. Here we go. There, our rocket looks awesome now. It's finished and we are ready to fly back home. And I'll see you next time. Bye!